USB shop. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel and the F100 build. We're going to be making the interior of the cab look just like a brand new truck. We have a custom center console we handmade here in house. We also have our leather seats from TMI that we got in. And we're also going to be putting all new carpet all throughout the truck. Also, Mike is going to be putting in the Rockford Fosgate stereo and Andrew is going to be buttoning up the Rust Mod Air AC system as well as the flat screen display from Autometer and our really nice touchscreen stereo from Kenwood that's going to have actual Apple Connect. So we're putting a lot of really cool technology inside the cab of the truck, so let's get to work. Chino's come over. He's probably one of the best upholstery guys locally that we've been working with. So he's putting down the carpet right now. We're gonna be getting that carpet all the way tucked up. So then after the carpet is in, then we can do the final install of our Restamod Air AC system. We can get all the wiring done against the firewall. We can get the fly-by-wire pedal from Ford Performance mounted up. And we get everything on that dash installed after the carpet is in. So this is a crucial part to keep the momentum going for this cab. Carpet is installed. Chino did an awesome job putting the carpet down. So now, we can tee it off to Andrew. And what you got going on the dashboard today, Andrew? So today we're gonna to be mocking up all the hardware to find out where we're gonna locate everything because there's not a lot of real estate. And we do have a lot of components from the Resto Mod air control unit to a fuse box that runs the standalone system for the engine. How are you gonna make sense of all this? Like what the heck is going on, man? Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun, it's fun. <laughs> fun with wiring, <laughs> yeah. look at all this. Holy crap. All right, well, I'm glad uh, glad I'm not you today. <laughs> yeah, no, no. For me today and probably the next 40 hours. Yeah, <laughs> 40 hours, yeah? Oh, man. Start the timer now. You could put all kinds of money and a ton of time into a build like this, and then if all the wiring is foobar, you're gonna be chasing your tail. So what we like to do is just put a fresh chassis harness in so we know that we're not gonna have any electrical issues. It'll extend and then we can clock it right. Yeah. You guys know what you're doing? Yeah. A little bit. this fuse panel is kind of hanging there as much as I'd like to leave it like that, which looks really cool. We're gonna make a nice bracket to be able to tuck it up here. Fuse panel is mounted, nice and tidy. Now we're gonna move our way over here to put in the brake pedal so we have this sensor in place. When you're wiring stuff, you want all of your sensors positioned where you're gonna be able to make your connections. Otherwise, you're kind of guessing where everything goes. In order to get like a really good seating position, we're gonna fit up our steering column. And this isn't the exact column we're gonna use. We're gonna put this mock-up one in, get our steering linkage kind of set, and be able to measure where we want this guy to kind of stop. So I'm gonna throw that in there right now, get a seat in here, and get kind of a rough idea as to where we're gonna want our steering wheel to be sitting when we're in the driving position. <laughs> seats are mocked up right now we have wood holding up the sides to keep everything level we centered the driver's seat up with the steering column so that you are nice and centered when you're driving the vehicle go and take it for a spin see what she looks like oh yeah she's up the line you have to you have to do the uh the arm out the window test to see how you doing? I'm Tanner Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> what we're gonna go ahead and do now is take these seats out, go over to the bench and make a frame system to be able to bolt this whole assembly together and then we'll make our connection points through the floor to be able to actually bolt all this in. Outside holes are drilled to accept these studs on the outside of this slider here. So the seat's gonna sit right on the edge of this frame rail. For the inside, we're gonna go ahead and make some tabs to be able to hold up the inside of the seat. All 
All right, guys, we have our upholstery all set. This is the full interior for the F100. We have the TMI bucket seats all mounted up. We have to test fit those in a second. We're gonna get our center console in, our door panels installed, and our kick panels for our speakers for our Rockford Fosgate setup. First thing we have to do though, is get this in there, see how it sits, so then we can make our brackets to bolt it to the floor. So we got our new steering column in. This one's a little bit shorter. As you can see, it's also black, which will match the interior a little bit better. This original column was about two inches too long. So this one is exactly where we need it. Only modification we're gonna have to make is down here. This has a spline in, and this one receives the D shaft. So we're just gonna cut this down, stick the D shaft in there, put a set screw in it, and then we'll be able to use this universal joint coming out of the firewall. Nobody's in the truck working Saturday. So today I'm gonna to install all the wiring for the Rockford Fosgate amp, kick panel speakers, door speakers, and the crossovers. So I made this panel already, wrapped it in some black carpet. So this panel will hold our two amplifiers, our crossovers. So I'm gonna go ahead and run all these wires, try to tuck it into this carpet and get out of the way for Andrew so he can button up this cab. got our low car electric sport shifter. Well, you want to locate it in a, in a good spot where it's going to be comfortable for the driver to reach and to go ahead and shift through the gears. This one right here, you have your linkage that has to go through as well down to the transmission. So what we did was we cut a huge access through the metal in the tunnel. And then we went back through and made a trim plate to trim it all in so no water will ever come back in the truck. This thing's pretty cool. It has a sport mode in it. So basically what you're going to do is you pull it all the way down, you shift it over to the right, and then you could go through the gears. So we're excited about this. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing wired into our computer. You're not too bad. He loves Look it. at that, man. Te gusta mucho. Center console is in. I'm super pumped how this came out. You have your charging pad right there. Put your cell phone down, charges right up. You got your low car sport shifter, coin tray, just in case you got some change. So we're gonna move on now to the seats. Our seat rail system here is all set. We're gonna go ahead and throw our TMI seats onto the rail system. There's seat belt brackets on the outside and inside to keep the driver and passenger safe. And then this can finally go in the truck for the very last time. The interior is a wrap. I just want to point out a few features that we got going on the inside of this truck. We're going to start calling it the King Ranch because this thing's got some space. You're like a mile away from me right now. It is. I feel lonely up here. You're, it's not like your typical bench seat. It doesn't no. have that same space. It really feels like we're in a 2017 or a 2018. I don't know why I didn't say 2021, but it feels like 2018. <laughs> <laughs> a couple years back. Let's go to 2018 when it was all better anyway. So you got our armrest right here so we cruise around. The TMI seats are so comfortable. I could sit in this truck all day. But a couple features that we got just to bring you guys up to speed. We got our tilt column now. Originally the steering column did not move. Now, if you're a big or a small guy, you can move this thing any way you want. Now, the real money shot for the interior of this truck is definitely the LCD screens. This stuff's gonna work, right? At this stage in the game, if it's not working, mm, we got problems. So we got our auto meter LCD display. These things are awesome. It's got actual GPS on the dashboard right here. So that GPS is gonna allow to track vehicle speed 
and you don't have to mess around with any gears in the transmission. We also have our touchscreen Kenwood system that goes along with our Rockford Fosgate stereo system. This thing actually has Bluetooth Connect too also, so you can have your GPS so you're never hitting traffic. Mm -hmm. Also, our kick panels down there, our door panels are all set. We also got our rest them on air AC system. Our billet knobs are all installed. And these aren't plastic, guys. These are billet aluminum. This is like one of the coolest features of like a rest of mod air system. One's gonna be for the mode, one's gonna be for temperature, and we don't have one for the blend because there's no heat or core in this truck, but that's what that third button would be. And we also had JC Customs make us some billet flanges to be able to match up with that. And we also have this nice low car sport shifter. Our phone charger is right there, so we can put our phone right down when you're cruising around, charge your phone up while you're driving around. So this truck is all the way up to the 21st century. Tune in next episode, guys, because we're going to be shifting focus to the outside of the truck and making the engine bay and the outside of the cab look as good as the interior of the truck. And at the end of the day, we can get this thing out of the clean room and onto a lift. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we will see you guys on the next episode. <laughs>